Hey, how's it going everyone? I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day. This video is going to be my highlights of what has been a wild day one in this year's Dead Man Mode tournament. If you enjoy this video, then hit that like button. Also, comment and let me know how your guys' first day of Dead Man Mode is going. But let's go ahead and cut this plug and get right into it. Obviously starting off we did the normal thing and went and got our free 10,000 GP from the Stronghold which I'm going to end up using on a Dorgashan crossbow and maybe some extra range equipment but I still had four minutes left on my protection timer so I went on and headed down to Lumbridge to kill some goblins and spiders just to run out that timer and finish off some of the beginning levels which is where something happened to me that I honestly did not think would happen to me for years possibly to come. <gasps> Does this guy... This guy's seen my videos, dude. No way. You're joking. There's no way this guy knows who I am. Absolute. This is insane. This is the very first guy. This guy is an absolute legend right here. Revelation 4. Unbelievable. So cool. It might seem kind of corny that I'm excited about this, but this is legitimately something I didn't expect to happen for, you know, who knows how long. This is amazing. Revelation 4. The absolute legend. Other than being recognized though, we got ourselves up to 37 range and boom. And I missed the clip where I got 37 mage, but you know, here, boom. Uh, then I went on to do the museum so we could get Slayer and actually get a task from the Wilderness Slayer Master. Yeah, hopefully we can get a Slayer assignment that's gonna train prayer right here. Oh, that is, that is perfect, man. What a great first assignment to get. Hill Giants it is. Little did this man with a crossbow know this excitement would soon become despair. Is that how a narrator sounds? A lot of bone bolts on the ground. I'm guessing somebody's over here. Let's just kind of hope they're busy. Should be able to jump into this mage thing if they're not. Let's go ahead and slash these webs and uh... Oh man, oh this is it. Oh come on, come on, come on. Why can't I teleport? Why won't it let me teleport? What's going on? Oh man, this is it here. This is gonna be it. Why can't I teleport? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You must be out of combat for another six. Oh, oh my, I, I'm so stupid. Oh my gosh. Little did he know he was soon going to get some revenge on someone else. Oh, this guy's fighting people. You think he's gonna hit me? Oh, oh, he did. Oh, we made it anyways. You think he's gonna come out? I don't think he will. There's no escape out here. I think I think we can take him if he decides to come out. Looks like we're fine. Oh, there he is. Here we go, baby. Let's see what we got, what we got. Oh, that is a ton of chaos runes. The bank key, a black play body. I'll get this hill giant out of the way, come on. Oh, baby. This could be a juicy key. 6.4 thousand GP, that's what I'm talking about. That's uh, definitely gonna bring us back from that death we just got. Death we just had. All right, moment of truth. Vest a long sword inside of the, inside of the chest. 
Ah, oh, nothing really. I mean, a ton of unicorn horns. Not too bad. I could use those bolts and that food will be nice. All of the juicy loot was really on the guy, so... Hey, for the first kill of the season, anti-PK kinda did bait the guy out. I'll take it. So after all of that craziness went down, things settled down a bit. I was able to level up into the next combat bracket and I used the entire 60 minute protection, finishing this task and turning in the four emblems that we got for some major gear upgrades. Our second task was Black Demons, which is absolutely great because this got our prayer up to level 43. Boom. And from here on out, my day one was pretty straightforward with 60 defense and 73 range coming in as well as 61 hit points, which is lower than I had anticipated, all coming in from this one single task as well, and I didn't even finish the entire task. But I have some skills to grind out for Fremnic Trials and Lunar Diplomacy, as well as some mage levels to get without training hit points because I am at 70.9 combat. And I think I can get 34 magic levels still without leveling up, so I'm gonna do that, get the skills I need for Fremnic Trials and most of them for Lunar Diplomacy and which I'm all doing kind of passively right now while I edit this video. And day two's video is going to start off with me doing Fremnic Trials followed by a ton of Slayer, more prep for the final bracket and Lunar Diplomacy. But that is all that I have to go over in this video. If you guys are still here, then you are absolute legends. Thank you so much. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Hit that like button if you haven't already to help me out. Also, comment and let me know how your first day went or is going. But other than that, I hope you all have an amazing day. I'm out.